So I wanted to uh, do a little demo here on the um, setup that I finally got going uh, today. I've been working on it for quite some time. Uh, if I can get my camera to do right. So what I've got here is um, uh, it's, so it's a I've got a ESP eighty two. Uh, 66 chip here running a web server and a uh, web socket server. Uh, got an integrated relay through the GPIO uh, that's on the development board. And then Safari browser running on the iPhone uh, and then a fan that is uh, connected, uh, integrated with the relay. So the way it works is you got a web server running over here. Um, the HTML here on Safari makes a request for a JavaScript file that uh, basically has uh, all the code in it for the WebSocket connections. The WebSocket client uh, makes a, a connection over here to the WebSocket server uh, and <clears throat> the WebSocket server is constantly sending out the, the temperature, uh, the temperature um, reading uh, from the, the sensor that's on the breadboard over here. Uh, the actual relay is actually controlled by I'm get kind of close here controlled by the on and off button here um, there's a little bit of a delay in there because I've had to slow down my loop uh, to um, actually uh, get the thing to work uh, maybe I didn't press the button here try it again tell if it worked or not oops come on It's probably good to see that anyway. Um, so it should turn on here in a second. There it goes. It scared me for a while. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, the, I need to increase the size of the button so it's not so hard to press. But anyway, the um, the on button there actually uh, sends a little string across the web socket over to the web socket server and. Um, the code makes the, uh, the the GPIO go. I think it goes low in order to turn this guy on uh, to make it make it close. It sets normally open. So um, yeah, I got that working today. And the way you turn it off, you just press the off button. Um, and uh, there you go. I think it's pretty cool. We'll uh, print up some 3D uh, 3D printed cases for my relay and my ESP82, and we'll put it in use. Uh, and see how well it works for um, the search and rescue team that um, I'll be working with. Hope you enjoy the video.